Hello and welcome to another scenario from Train Simulator 2020, where today we're going to be taking a Network Southeast Class 47 from Slough to London Paddington, uh, along the Great Western Main Line. Before I uh, get into things, I'd just like to give a massive shout out to uh, John Sulock for uh, his donation to the channel. Thank you ever so much, that really is greatly appreciated. Um, if you would like to help support the channel as well, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds from there go immediately back into the channel to help better the content only from this, but for other projects I have in the pipeline. And uh, the next film will be Twisted Rush Hour, uh, going from somewhere to somewhere. But for now, we're going to be doing the slow from Slough as a late evening service. I may very well look into getting some of the um, sound enhancements for the Class 47, but... Uh, for the time being, I'm happy with what I've got. If you have any recommendations or trains you want to see me drive, then please do let me know, and I will see what I can do for you. Okay, hello driver, very quiet. The task is to take this replacement stopping service from Slough to Paddington, where it will terminate all stations. Remember, uh, stick as close to the time as possible. Loading is complete and ready to depart whenever you're ready. Happy days, cool. Right, don't know why we're in this cab. We need to be in this one. Headlights. Get that up. Let's begin. Network Southeast. Uh, Thames Turbo Union passing us there. First station stop will be Langley. Of course she's house healthy, doesn't she? Oh dear. If there are people trying to sleep, then I uh, I really do apologise, but I can't be held accountable for the sound of a 47 erupting into life and causing you all to wake up. And we have a City HST passing us there. One point two miles to go for our first station stop. What I wouldn't mind is that at the start of these scenarios, when it gives you the sort of introduction to everything, is it actually stops the time, but it doesn't. So as a result of that, we're already late into the Langley. Oh, I don't know. So we've got another 47 coming in.
Ooh, did I miss that? Actually, yeah, that's not too bad. I think I've only got four cars, I think I'm, uh... Right, right. Now, have we got something chasing us? Uh, can you tell? It's so dark. I don't know what that voice was. Or this one that I'm doing. I'm sort of mixing Russian with a bit of Francais. Can you get that? Can you get a French Russian? Or even a Russian French? Either way, I have just come up with one. And I think it's bloody good. So, I was next. So, oh, is there anything behind me? Oh god, that doesn't help me. Uh, nope, we're safe. We'll hop into the cab. Oh, we'd be interested by HST. Excellent. Let's get used to the brakes on these again. There we go. I'm mining a bit of full beans just to get us. I think we're going to be running late for every station. I mean, what are we? A minute late now? It's going to be probably two minutes, I would have thought, by the time we actually go to a stop. Two minutes late. Just doesn't help with the fact that it's, it's the start that just gets you. Okay, so West Drayton is next. Yeah, and we're supposed to be there. Wait for it. Wait for it. We're supposed to be there now. Then go up. Amazing, I cannot see a thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't mind doing um, nighttime scenarios, but it's just nice if you can actually see what's going on around you because uh, you can't see a thing. 
really calm. Oh, hello. Who have we got here then? Another Thames Turbo unit. Just make out this question, but where are you going to see? We cannot see modules. And there goes that horrendous voice again. Right, if you're gonna if you're gonna do an accent, at least make it a good one. Don't try and blend in a series of them. Just okay, I have to release that and we come in a little bit too much breakage there. I reckon the next station we're going to come to is going to be at least three minutes late. That, that seems to be a half the course of this thing. I don't mind it, to be fair. Okay, I know I'm supposed to try and keep to a score, and, and they want me to keep the time to as much as possible, but uh, you have to uh, just make do with what you got, don't you? It's not really too much of a scandal. of the shadows they emerge. Okay, Hayes and Harlington is next and we're due in three minutes late. Called it, HST. This is going to where this is going to go, but... Oh well. Our ETA certainly isn't 12.27.28, because we've cleared that already. You may as well just accept the fact that we're keeping to British Rail traditions at the time, and uh, running everything late. I mean, I'll, I'll just say I was having a cup of coffee somewhere, and uh, I got chatting to the station master about, I don't know, the local newspaper and how I disapprove greatly of the content on page uh, 14 about the uh, growing prices in Brussels sprouts. That's my story and I'm sticking to it.
Was it me, Governor? It was the uh, it was the prizes in Brussels sprouts on page 14 of the newspaper. Despicable it was. And then when I inform him of the prizes, he'll then go himself. Good Lord, man! Is this true? And I said, I read it in the newspaper. What well, can't speak, can't lie? And he goes, well, I reckon then that you should drive more of our trains, in which case, because you're, you're key to all this. I mean, stop the passengers if they're late. You need to go and visit all these train stations and read the newspapers to make sure they're all sat ten, saying the same story and then get the opinions of everybody else on those platforms. And I will, sir. That will be my uh, that will be my job. That is my calling in life is to uh, is to do such things. What are you looking at, fool? Chief, the uh, train's behind you, mate. Just um, I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, you know. No? Okay, well. It, will this get your attention? No. Alright. Never mind. So, South Hall is next, and we're already running late. You're going to be late, you might as well be late in style. Hopefully we slow down in enough time. If not, just a little bit too much. Interesting. I'm not really too bothered about where I stop in these stations, to be honest with you. Just as long as I stop. I don't know how I'm actually gaining points at this point. I'm Surely I should be getting penalised for rocking up ridiculously late. There we go. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Well, Hamble's next, and uh, yep, running late. It's just gonna be it's just a theme, in it? Oh well.
I can't see a thing apart from some wagons. If I went in here. Well, at least, at least it's nice and lit in here. Still can't see anything out the bleeding cab, though. Or window, even. Or out the cab, for that matter. Cab and window of passenger carriage. Can't see a thing. I mean, literally, what you can see, really, in this sphere, is all I can see. I can see jack all else. Why do I pick nighttime scenarios? I wish that... Okay, it's nice having nighttime scenarios, it's just to break things up, but I wouldn't have minded it being a daytime scenario, chucking it down with rain, just so I can see what's going on around me. Okay, yeah, the streets are lit up, but that's really about it. There ain't much else, my lad. I mean, to us, what? It's now, what, 25 to 11 at night. Who is really going to give a monkeys whether or not a train is three minutes late at uh, 25 to 11? First thing I do when I get on the train is just fall asleep. Okay, West Ealing is next. Release the brakes, just firewall the throttle because, you know, why not? We'll just wake up all the locals. How time would you mess it up for us? Yeah, we're running nice and late. Cool, that bridge comes out of nowhere. something in front of us. Another Thames turbo? Was a pair. Three car and a two car. Boom, there we go. Right, that's that. Bunch of night buses running around. Come to zoom out. When are you leaving? More to the point. Who's at the front? Can we? Can we? One six six two zero three. We can see who's at the back. One six six two zero one. All right, cool. Time. <laughs> only only minus for ten points. Kill your two kinds.
just a, just a little bit of artificial lighting wouldn't go on this. Like, yeah. I mean, apart, yeah, I, you know, I just, I, I just sit here in complete blackness. I've got some, uh, some partially. Oh dear. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's definitely not good. Screw it. Emergency brakes. Yeah, I'll rack up the penalty points. Come on, come on, come on. Stop, 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 stop. Please. Please, 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 please. Damn. Okay, how bad is it going to be? We're going we're gonna to stay at the back. <laughs> how did I not see this? Oh, dear. Well, I've got three in. Do you count? <laughs> hey! I'll take that. <laughs> um, crumbs. Uh, ooh, that's you can hop out if you really wanted to. All right, boys. But <laughs> oh, god, that was fantastic. Right. <laughs> just, yeah. Go on. Give it give it a boot for and uh Yeah. Bye. Oh, well, there we are, HST. Alright, let, let's let's hop into Likab. Well, at least I know the emergency brakes are uh, half decent on this. And again, it'd be nice if I could see this yard in the night, in the night, in the light, but, but, um, yeah, okay, yeah, you can see what's there, but you can't really see what else is going on around you. Ah, uh, okay, fine, I should have, should have put much more harsher braking on initially. Well, you know. If you don't give the brakes a good solid workout every now and again, can you uh, can you really say they work sufficiently? So that's that's one gone. So we basically just did the exact same thing again. How much did you do on time anyway? Did you make did you made up any time? No. No. In all of that, we haven't actually made up any time whatsoever. So uh, completely bloody wasted. Oh, well, what can you do? Right, let's, um... Oh, okay, well, next door's Paddington, so I can't really afford to... I'll get this one up.
Okay, so we've got a 50 minute coming up in a um, mile and a half. We've had two stations where we completely ballsed up the approach and the stop. I wonder if I can actually see it's an old boat common when we get past it or something. You must be able to, because it's, it's a big yard, so you must be able to see everything. I'm sure, this is good. Oh, there's an army of units. That's how it should be. Plenty of units. Got some uh, Mark Threes. Got a HST over there. Yep, uh, three HSCs. Small Mark Threes. Some more units, more power cars. Oh, Christ, there's units are plenty. At least you can actually see in the yard, which is nice. You've got something to look at. Interesting. So does that mean? No, oh, no, it's flashing. So then you get a junction. We'll shut that off. And we'll uh, we, we'll coast on our journey. Shut up. Hopefully, the next scenario that I'm going to do again with the network Southeast Class 47 is going to be. Uh, a tad better, so we can 47, so I was one there. And hopefully it's going to, well, it will be in the day, so it was, what was it, 1721? So it will be in the light, so we can see what we're doing. What a lot of traffic out there, good grief. Oh, God, is that, is that for me? <laughs> oh, please say it isn't. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know what? Seeing as how this scenario went completely to pot, uh, and normally I just, I give in and I restart, I'm calling it a day. Do you know what? I'm calling it a day. It's fine. That scenario is a complete success if not a monumental failure. So the next one's going to be significantly better, I can assure you. Um, it's going to be uh, that one. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. So, um, hmm, there we go. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.